In this video, I will show you how to um, build up a drop-down list like this one, uh, when where you have a selection of elements or items, and as soon as you click on an item, then you will uh, get a small event, and the event in this case shows uh, a message. <clears throat> and we will follow the uh, the tutorial made by the default tutorial from Android developers. <clears throat> now what we have here uh, in our actual uh, project, I will create there a new project demo spinners uh, <clears throat> the <clears throat> A drop-down list is called a spinner in Android. Let's say uh, we take 4.1, and this is an uh, empty activity, <coughs> main activity. Now we have a blank activity, creating a blank activity. A drop-down list <coughs> like this one is called a spinner in uh, Android development. So project will be created. What we do now is uh, we we will follow the this project. Um, <coughs> first, what we have to do is to create um, uh, an array. I will copy this one, so it's uh, always easier. Demo one. So we have here the resources and here in uh, the resources values we create a new resource file. Let's say this is arrays. Uh, yep. <coughs> and now this is the base uh, structure there. And let's see what I have copied. We need only this one. Uh, so what uh, will we have here is uh, we have uh, the this block says okay it's a resource it's an additional resource file as an XML file and we have here yeah let, let let's have uh, still leave those values there oh, this is the sun these are planets from the sun and uh, what is the big one is uh, Ganymede. Ganymede. Ah, yeah, that planet's array. <coughs> and now we uh, will go to our main activity. Here's our, uh, from our demo, the, that's the Java file, which have the uh, on create events and all that stuff. And then we have also in the resources the main activity. Here it is. Now this is Android Studio 2.2. We have here this relative layout and all this stuff. Now we go there and say, okay, this is a demo. Come on. Still running. Uh, How was it? Demo spinner one. Okay, and let's have it very big. <coughs> and then we go here on our uh, toolbox. We have here those a spinner. We will place it there and now what you see here is uh, the, that's the idea, and the drop-down mode is either by dialog or by drop-down. Drop-down is default, <coughs> and you have have also these entry fields. Uh, this doesn't work at the uh, at the moment. Android 2.2 Studio 2.2 is quite new. Uh, <coughs> previously, you could enter here an XML file, so this is uh, uh, or the uh, an array string array of an XML file but this doesn't work so 
you or before this you could um, enter this stuff there okay uh, now we get what we do now is first we save this one and <coughs> uh, let's here have here the code text view that's the uh, it says it's you have to place it here not not in here but but here like this okay and now this works no there's the ID missing let's say this is the oh, here design mode now we say here this uh, this text view the label is a label label uh, label title for example and uh, this is below label title now it should work okay <coughs> um, that's for the first stuff come on here so a little bit different and uh, so what's next now yeah now we have we have created this one it's an an array and the resources a string array with separate items and now we go to um, to the Java file um, the, this stuff you, you can still uh, simply drop in uh, enter um, a value there it's uh, the system doesn't uh, doesn't mm, solve this problem <coughs> you have uh, you have to go here and here uh, that's the basic code uh, when we started this says okay now that, that's a main activity and it it, it ex extends app compat uh, activity now <coughs> i will go to this one and uh, what we have to do now is we have to um, to fill that file so i will explain it to you here now create uh, event we will uh, enter that stuff <coughs> and w when you type alt and uh, return then the um, import files uh, these ones will be uh, added so now I will explain it here mm. first we create uh, a local uh, value a variable which uh, of the type spinner and we say okay give me uh, the field here uh, called spinner or another name and then we say uh, create me an adapter an adapter does um, Bring me an, an, an adapter for, uh, made by this resource of uh, string values. So an adapter can can load everything, yeah. And this it takes this stuff and pulls it on there, uh, or it adapts it on there. That's uh, usual. Adapt adapters are usual on. Um, uh, nowadays on activities and Android and uh, even on other uh, systems like on uh, or the WinPhone for example um, because I'm usually a Windows phone programmer now when we have done this one that's the uh, resource file uh, re resource spinner on our the visible f uh, no excuse me excuse me that's wrong uh, this is our array and it loads this one into a default system or a default time default layout type so, so this is a simple list from uh, from top to down <coughs> if you want to have different uh, types then you <coughs> then you have to change this one 
uh, so we will have on a later point uh, they are um, a custom file so uh, but that this is a simple list from uh, with elements uh, from top to down and then we say okay this adapter with inside uh, uh, strings this is the name this name should um, excuse me so should set its uh, the drop down view, uh, should set those values what it gets there with the set drop down view resource onto this uh, into a simple element yep yeah. and then it should load it into the uh, to the adapter what we see there so um, when we run this now resource yeah so this is the layout from the uh, when, when you uh, have uh, loaded it so drop down new resource so this is the internal resource, it's a XML structure. So, and now what we have here, it's a demo of Spinner and we, when we click on there, then we have this stuff. And this is the uh, uh, set dropdown view resource, is this one, se simple Spinner dropdown item. So this is uh, the uh, resources here and this is the structure before and now we go on here uh, and this is uh, loaded into that stuff now <coughs> uh, Google says here uh, uh, when you want to react on the uh, on, on this example they they do it like this uh, they say when you want to uh, import react on a when an item is selected nothing happens here it selects but uh, if we want to have a uh, following rela uh, reaction then you should do the following stuff <coughs> you should uh, in your Yeah. This is our main activity extending something and here in here we have to set the uh, on item selected um, and the on selection and we have here to extend the uh, the activity that's what I didn't find out before here you have we have to say here implements on a, a selected item selected listener and here as soon as we do this one can solve it let's take this out again I've done something wrong here um first when we take it like this then it implements that stuff and then it says okay uh, shall I create those subclasses where is it implements methods here on item selected and uh, nothing selected so this comes on here and <coughs> Now we're gonna say uh, here test. But uh, if something is selected, then we say um, where is it? No, I just closed it. Uh, open there here it is 
here we have it uh, I've written it here now if something is selected they have it also in their uh, explanation if something is selected then we will say uh, we impl implemented this stuff get my element at the at this position position and uh, bring it uh, create it or transfer it to a string so this makes a string from the element which uh, where the the event happens at the position get item at position at the position to a string and they then make a um, um, and a small notification a message box so we run this again so when we select something ah, now nothing happens at the moment and the reason therefore is because I forgot it uh, this stuff um, the mm, the uh, interfaces will only happen if you set here <coughs> spinner uh, on what was it what was the name on item selected on item selected listener and then um, we said uh, here on this <coughs> we have to say um, uh, there should be an event or uh, give this event whenever this happens then we should um, implement the ev event from there so this is from this uh, text view we will have this uh, Elem this implements adapter view on item selected listeners and here are the methods from there and then it will react on this stuff so when we run it again if you have di a different uh, stuff then you have to uh, create here a different if you have multiple uh, uh, spinners then you have to create here on a this on a different way this will come on the further stuff further examples now when we click on there now we have this event and this is made because the, the event is now attached here it's attached that's the best uh, word for that and yeah th that's it it's a simple list and a simple event so the event comes here if we go there click on there then the uh, the debugger goes into this event i hope i could help you on this point uh, and my next example will be a customized uh, list with uh, some subtext on there and a further uh, reaction on uh, after this event and with a multiple with a separate spinners on multiple spinners on this list.